Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. <coughs> this series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran programming. And now, in this tutorial, we will be looking at an interesting concept and which is, this, could, this will be the last concept uh, using the interface option available in Fortran. Okay, today we will be looking at uh, array valid functions and one more, interest, one more uh, topic called as optional parameters. Now, what does an array valid function mean is, is as follows. See, as for now, we have seen functions, okay, which are made by us, uh, which returns only a single value. But what if uh, you have the facility to make the entire uh, function return an entire uh, array instead, okay. Now, how that, will be that will be very much beneficial in certain aspects okay and uh, if you wanted to make that kind of a thing possible in Fortran before then we have facilities and Fortran allows that and we'll be looking at that today and also we'll be looking at some optional parameters meaning certain parameters which were uh, if you need not include on their own include necessary but uh, if they're included they'll have they'll modify the conditions slightly I mean, they'll modify the conditions accordingly, okay? And if they are not included, they'll do some, they will not modify, uh, I mean, uh, they may not uh, do the same modifications as and when they are included and something of that sort, okay? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll walk you guys through the program, then you'll understand, okay? Today, what we're going to do to explain, I mean, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is that to explain this optional parameters and to explain array valid functions, I have written a small function over here called as matmer as the name suggests it's going to be a matrix multiplication okay what it does is that it takes two arrays a and b okay and an optional parameter d and it draws the matrix multiplication and the result is in c okay for that what i've done is that i need three in three indices i j and k okay for the indices r1 c1 r2 c2 are for the rows and columns of the matrix one and two okay S1 and S2 are separate. I'll explain you guys how that works. It's two dimensional array. I'll explain you that. D is the optional parameter. And if you want to declare any optional parameters to the function, which can be included or need, it's me, need or need not be included, what you have to do is you have to, you have to use the option keyword. Now, when this keyword optional is used, the uh, Fortran compiler looks to see whether this uh, the variable is present. If it is present, I mean, by default, if it's optional, okay, by default, all the variables in this in the list should be present in it. And if it's if there's certain variables given optional, it the variable are against this optional keyword need not be present. So what happens is that here, uh, the compiler will check for a, b, and d. And sometimes if d is not passed, it will check whether it's an optional argument. Okay, and if it's an optional optional argument, it just ignores. If it's not, then it'll throw an error. I mean, it'll just check if uh, it'll throw an error, okay? And then I'm just getting the values A and B here, and and this little syntax is just for you know allocating the size of matrix, size uh, size of the value C, value C over here. This uh, the simple point is the size function returns the total size of the array, okay? And then so what I did is that I'm just uh, allocating the matrix C to have the number of rows of matrix a and the number of columns of matrix b that's that's the reason for this entire complicated like, big expression but nothing much and then using this uh, i get the shapes of a and matrix a and b using the very uh, functions shape and then using the values s1 and s2 from which i assign r1 c1 r2 c2 the row and column of matrix 1 and the row and column of matrix 2 uh, using the values s1 and s2 and then initialize c to be 0 okay now what i do is that what i do is that i'll just explain this part a little later okay now uh, by matrix multiplication the first thing you have to create the first credit you have to do is this okay the number of columns in the f first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix okay now only when this condition is satisfied this condition is satisfied since c is already declared to be zero on the top okay this looping or this looping setup 
we'll do the matrix multiplication <coughs> we'll do the matrix multiplication and then returns the so return and, and modifies the value c and then and then since this matrix multiplication is return c the function will return c and that's it oh, okay now i'll explain you now this part is okay just conventional now like let me explain the optional parameter part of it see uh, see if d is present what i'm going to do here is that if if i pa pass the value d and this d is an integer and this can be any value as of now in this in, for this program okay what i done is that if if i pass d over here okay and uh, now this command press this function present is used for determining whether the optional parameter is plugged into the function or not uh, what it does is that it checks this function that uh, this function checks whether the optional parameter is present in the function or not if it is present this will return uh, this will return a true value and if this is true then the function will execute all the statements over here so essentially what it means is that when this function uh, after the two matrices a and b if i just return any integer okay this uh, this entire statement will be true okay and so what it does is that it just it just prints all this print statements now essentially this is just a debugging part and if you don't and if you if you just ignore the value d okay this this will this will uh, d will not be present inside the function when it is passed so this will be false so this entire uh, set of instructions within if function it is if construct will not be uh, executed simple as that okay now with this i'll explain you guys the optional parameter and then let i'll explain you guys how the array value function looks like now this function so far so far so good now hold on okay i'm sorry about that i think my phone was in an alarm anyway coming back uh, as far as we seen uh, this function does all the job nicely and the size of c is determined over here but we have a small problem over here what happens is that uh see this function is written outside the program so if it's out written outside the program then sometimes if you just uh, you know i'll show you guys i just have a, i just have the interface fun interface function written away interface function part written over here okay if i just uh, if i just comment this comment these parts comment these parts take take this in and uh, if I were to add this add more function over here okay if I were to do this if I were to compile this okay if I were to compile this I'll I'm getting an error stating like I'm getting an error like this explicit interface required for mat underscore mul at one assumed shape argument so the problem here the problem here is sometimes uh, when you define a function like this also when you define a function like this which has uh, a non a not the more than a sh whose shape is more than one okay and which is outside the program like this this may not work and suppose okay some you might be thinking like okay the external parameter may be the issue so if i were to remove this okay and if i were to compile this again i still get the same warning so the point here is the uh, external keyword is not the problem but the problem the problem here is an interfacing okay external uh, functions which are defined external to the program with the, with the, with with, the, with not within the bounds of uh, not within the bounds of a module okay they will have uh, if you they will have this they will have this kind of a problem when they are you know, compiled like this so how do we do that it's simple we what you have to do is that for these functions uh, you have to interface these function and how to do that it's simple okay now let me just comment this part over here and this interfacing part is in the program okay uh, program is option underscore our func meaning option parameters and array functions that's what i'm going to do here i'm just set here i'm just setting the values of the rows and columns of the two matrices they are actually first matrix a is three rows and two columns while second matrix is two rows and three columns and all of them are set to one and c i'm not setting it to any commenting this out okay 
let me un let me uncomment this format uncomment lines yeah let me uncomment this now in this interfacing what i've done is that i've given the interface name as mat and within this interface within this interface what i've included is that i've included the function mat underscore mul which is nothing but this function mat underscore mul okay and along with it i've included the all the intent in and all the variables that are used within the function okay only that variable declarations uh, sometimes you know uh, this might work without with only the intent in parameters and uh, other parameters i guess but to be on the safer side <coughs> sorry to be on the safer side i have included all of them so now with this what happens is if i were to compile this after including the interface function it just works fine okay and if i were to build this <coughs> it works fine again and if i were to execute this uh, it works fine it works fine now uh, now because of this interfacing function because of this interfacing feature i have two options now i can use this function matmul as it is at the same time even if i were to use mat along with it compile build and run this they just run fine okay now if i were to change this to just to for clarification if i were to change this to matmul if i were to compile build and run this okay both of them work fine so because of this interfacing function interfacing facility okay uh, any function which now this function can return an array value can return an array and uh, that's the that's the advantage you have of because of this interface function and this is nothing but just a uh, this is nothing but uh, you know a formatting formatting state lines to print the matrix nicely this is me if you guys remember we were we were discussing this in one of the long previous tutorials okay nothing uh, nothing much special about it and uh, about regarding the optional parameter i'll explain you guys if i were to compile build and run this again okay if i were to compile build and run this again see okay uh, as of now uh, when we part when we call this function mat underscore mul okay along with a and b i'm just giving an optional value 3 okay optional value 3 okay it need not be 3 okay since this third th this third argument optional argument is present okay when this function gets called this present uh, this fun this line present of d is true because that optional argument is present and because of when that because since that is present this entire set of statement this debugging on statement and everything within this if construct is getting pr printed over here and that is what you see over here okay now what i do is that is that i just remove this three i just remove this three okay um yeah you know what i just keep this here i'll comment this out okay i'll comment this out and uh, this way you guys can have a look um, compatible on and this okay if you guys notice since i've removed this optional argument right now okay and everything within this print statement has not been printed has not been i mean within this if concept is not executed whereas only the resulting product matrix is only printed displayed okay now, now that's how you use an arg uh, that's how you use an optional argument now if this now this is just a one simple demonstration but uh, if option the optional argument has multiple values and stuff and even if it's given not given you can you, you can use a lot of you know you can use other arithmetic and constructs and decision making statements accordingly to make other options available uh, and not only that not only that uh, uh, based on the presence of uh, the statements presence of the optional parameters uh, you can do you can do a little more job a little more job accordingly okay that's just uh, i mean you just have to let your imagination the imagination at while uh, depending on the nature of the program and uh, just to 
make uh, just to uh, give an alternate explanation alternate possibility okay uh, for uh, suppose if you want to make an array valid function like this okay but you don't want to use the interface option what you'll do is simple write this in a ma write this in a module write the same function in a inside a module like what i've done over here okay this is exactly the same function <laughs> same function okay I just included this inside a module called as matrix, okay, and uh, and I ended uh, ended the mo module over here, and then in this function, I mean the program, I include the mo uh, module matrix, okay. I have commented everything out, and then if I run this, simple as that, it just runs fine, okay. And if I were to you know, if you, if you guys are not convinced enough, compile and run this, yeah, it works fine. Okay. Similarly, uh, let's try. I mean, this is in a separate function, so you can the separate program, so you can try accordingly. So now let's do a little trickery. Since d is integer, and passing only integer, so regardless of whatever integer you pass, this will work. Now, if, if I were to play or play something, let's do something a little tricky. Uh, let's do something like uh, let's pass a negative. Um, a decimal number like 65.8 this is decimal you have to compile okay now you have an issue something like it, sh it shows that type mismatch in argument d passed real 4 to integer 4 now that's an issue what it says is that now you are not allowed you are not at all allowed to change this change the data type though these are optional arguments either you are not allowed to change the argument you are not allowed to change the data type whereas if i just write 66 65 or something if i were to compare this it just works fine and build this and run this they just work fine so the point here is even if you have optional arguments that does not mean you are allowed to change the data type accordingly the data type has to be met whether they are present or not it's optional that's why it's their call as optional arguments that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, in the, from the next tutorial onwards, we will be looking at some even more complicated, not complicated, even more uh, advanced features. And this is regarding uh, file processing. We, in the you know, my previous tutorial, we saw, I mean, in the previous tutorial series, we saw uh, some examples wherein we wrote some contents into files. Okay. And uh, in this tutorial, uh, in the next upcoming tutorials, at least another three or four tutorials i'm not sure how many okay in those tutorials we'll be looking at some advanced uh file advanced file processing commands available in fortran and uh, if everything goes well maybe after that we'll be looking at looking at uh, pointers pointers and a uh, little more to and some more topics here and there which were i thought of here and there i have which i've left and all and then mostly uh, mostly a little more cover up on cover up on those topics and then our tutorial series will come to an end thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next tutorial so take care and bye